What is up guys? In today's video we are going to be taking the uh, base mesh and applying the ZBrush uh, skin alphas on top of it. I'm gonna break those inside of substance and I'm gonna show you the whole process. So let's get into it. One thing to note is that sometimes when you're uh, importing, be sure uh, to uh, check the document resolution and everything so uh, you don't go off uh, like the details that you wanted. You just make sure that you have uh, the same amount for uh, the bake and uh, the document resolution. Anyways, uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, when we start baking, we need to uh, check off the inner mouth because uh, we didn't do anything on that. So you can easily do that by going into uh, the baking settings and uh, checking that off. That way it's not going to do anything to that. And uh, down below you can see that there are 21 maps that are uh, gonna bake. I think it's 21. No, it's uh, 28, but uh, seeing as that uh, we don't really need all uh, the things that are uh, present, like uh, the thickness or position or ID map, so we are just going to uncheck that as well as the inner mouth. So uh, this should reduce the amount of uh, textures for baking. Another thing you'll see when the bake is completed is that there are some artifacts that are happening. These are happening on her lips and uh, they're also going to be happening um, between the fingers where the seams are and inside the nose and probably on the feet as well but we can fix those. You can identify which map is causing the problem by turning them off in your baking settings one by one. For me it was the normal map. So what you can do is you can later on bring those inside of Photoshop and uh, use the patch brush to just patch over those and those artifacts are going to disappear. So uh, we can identify which map was causing the problem by turning each map off one by one. For me it was the normal map and as you saw that once I turned off the normal map the artifacts disappeared as well as the details so we can fix that later. For now we are going to focus on texturing.
And here you can see that I'm applying a red color which is uh, just to uh, add a bit more uh, blush and natural feel. This is also going to be uh, covering the lips.
next thing we need to be careful about is our uh, inner mouth because as you remember we didn't bake this with everything else we're gonna bake this separately and I'm gonna show you how to apply a curvature map and apply a baked lighting effect which kind of uh, gives you a more natural shadows and realistic kind of feel so uh, let's do that next.